Hello there, uh, it's me Kenneth, the, the introvert bedroom musician from Montreal and right now I'll be doing a review of this guitar. So this is an Epiphone Les Paul Classic model 2020 in a gloss finish and I got it uh, from Archambault and I have been playing it for a month now. Alors merci aux gens d'Archambault pour uh, de, de, de m'avoir aidé. Euh, quand j'ai l'acheté, alors c'est cool, euh, plus spécifiquement le, le, le succursal de Beriocam. So yeah, thank you for assisting me. So we have uh, the usual maple cap, uh, mahogany ba body, mahogany neck, Indian laurel fretboard, um, medium jumbo frets, uh, Gibson style or the early Kalamazoo style Epiphone uh, headstock. And uh, we have uh, Grover tuners and uh, Alnico Classic Pros tone and uh, tone and volume controls. And we have the push pull for both pickups and a an out of phase switch. And we have uh, uh, the pickup select selector switch. Okay, so for uh, the um, the sounds. Um, Let's try to hear it acoustically. And uh, right now, we'll try to, I'll try to play it in clean. And uh, this guitar is connected to my pedal board with, the, with an electro harmonics uh, linear power booster, which is always on, which gives a little oomph to my clean tone. And my amplifier, it's a Black Star Fly 3, which is perfect for the bedroom environment. So uh, here it goes, the clean tone. <laughs> um, a little bit of uh, overdrive tone. Okay, so that's uh, the overdrive tone. By the way, I'm only doing this uh, with the bridge pickup with the tone and volume in full. So uh, yeah, uh, the next uh, dirt pedal that we're going to try it with, it's the uh, Omega Drive by Rabatech Audio, a pedal company from the Philippines. So let's have a listen. <laughs> Okay, so that's the sound of the uh, Omega Drive. And now uh, we'll try it with the two overdrives. So the Omega Drive and the TC Electronic Mojo Mojo. <laughs> My thoughts with this uh, guitar so right off the bo the box um, I, uh, I had to do a little setup with the truss rod and uh, the action and the pickup heights but it's not a lot of work as long as you uh, you uh, choose the guitar in the store you have to actually try the guitar in the store which is very important for me and then um, another thing is uh, it's useful for me because when I try to uh, record uh, some humbucker heavier parts in the guitar 
here in my bedroom it is perfect and stock with the stock pickups i think it serves my uh, my uh, needs well and uh, should i gig with this guitar well of course it's very uh, solid and i think it can take a beating when uh, playing on stage and uh, so uh, yeah that's uh, that's pretty much all all of it so if you have any questions uh, or anything that i missed in this video you can ask them in the comments i'll try my best to uh, answer them and uh, yeah enjoy your day be careful out there bye